Welcome to the 2023 National Heavy Duty Truck Rally for RV Haulers. HDT Rally offers a variety of fun and relaxation. However, one of the primary purposes of the National Heavy Duty Truck Rally is education. There are lots of advantages to an HD RV hauler from safety and capacity to space and comfort. There are disadvantages as well and the HDT Rally seeks to help you figure out whether it's a good fit for you. The National Rally is held each year in October at the Kansas State Fairground in Hutchison, Kansas. Today we will begin our video at the scales. RVSEF is here at the rally giving us the opportunity to get our rigs weighed. We weigh the truck attached first and then we un uh, have to weigh the truck twice, get it attached and, and attached and then we weigh the trailer. Then you weigh the trailer. This, yes sir. Why should you have your rig weighed? To know if your RV and truck exceeds the GVWR assigned by the manufacturer. Why should you have your rig weighed by wheel position? It is possible to be within the gross vehicle weight rating and your gross axle weight rating and still overload a tire at an individual wheel position. So is this your first rally? Yes, yes. ma'am. Okay. I feel like I'm meeting celebrities. I've seen y'all on YouTube. <laughs> you have. <laughs> We're not celebrity. Celeb celebrities. Well, if you saw how much he watched it, you would think he was. We just read <laughs> I say I'm just a hillbilly now from Tennessee, so. <laughs> there he goes. Well, he'll go get him one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they're great for when you get to places and you have to check out your sites and stuff like that before you go in or something. Yeah. You can just whip it out of the car and yeah, take, ride take, it, yeah, take off and go around. And Look at it! Look at it! Look at it. Good. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? For a coat. You want to get you one of those? It was fun, wasn't it? It's easy, isn't it? Oh, Where did that you... Thing on three, it run about 20-something miles an hour. Now, what, what, what brand is this? This is, uh, right what there. Cougoo Kim. Cougoo Kim. Cougoo Kim. Where'd you get them? Did you order them? I just ordered it online. They were, Amazon they were, or? uh, I can't remember now. But it was... They were like 750 a piece, which was cheaper than what I've been running into. Most of them were about a thousand or more, and we got two for fifteen hundred dollars. And has it got a slow speed to it? Yeah, it does. Oh, here goes Jenny.
you bring this cold weather? What? No. <laughs> Are we on camera? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Remember Norman Diane Brown? 2021. Yeah. We had a little girly truck then. That's right. Yeah. Got a big red now. Get up to June 1st. <laughs> so we're here at the rally, and this is Norm and Diane, Diane. Brown. <laughs> and, um, I believe you said this is your first time to a rally. Yep. Yes. Uh, we're looking primarily for a mid-roof because we don't want the really tall, you know, one ourselves. Uh, we're looking more like a 610 or 630. We like the Volvo. We like the looks of the Volvo. Uh, everybody talks about how easy they are to drive. We talked to Jack Meyer a lot and uh, he showed us a couple others which are good looking trucks. And so it's a... Uh, I mean, we are open, you know, but so we really haven't decided totally. Yeah. Uh, so, so you're here a, to check out to see how everybody has them rigged out. Basically, yeah. yeah. And here to learn all you can. But yeah. They're going to share information with you this week. Yeah. Yes. And uh, we're here for the seminars for sure. Uh, everybody has encouraged uh, newbies to come and and learn as much. They all everybody encourages to go to the rally. Well, I'm here today with uh, Norm and Diane. And I'll swing the camera around to them in just a minute, but I want to tell you in 19, uh, 2021, 21. <laughs> we met them and they were another couple that was here in a little girly truck. So behind me, they have upgraded. So they're going to tell you about what they got. Well, we picked up a 2002 uh, VNL 770 uh, with, uh, it's got a uh, dinette set in it and, um, I guess a Cummins, I'm not sure what size. Uh, don't know enough about the truck, but it's a, uh, a short, uh, it's single short, and because we wanted a daily driver as well, so it, uh, we don't haul anything on the back. It's got a drum box on it. So basically it's got everything we wanted. Uh, it's a little tall. Uh, we wanted a little to taller than you wanted. Yeah, it's a little taller. <laughs> because in the video, what did you say you were looking for? A mid-roof. <laughs> yeah, we thought we wanted a 610 or 630, and uh, come to look at the, some of those, they were a little bit uh, small from what we thought we wanted. And uh, when we started looking around, we told Jack what we wanted uh, at, at uh, RVH. And uh, he had this, and he uh, turned around and said, I got a truck that might fit your profile, and uh, we took a look at it and it had everything that we wanted. It had the dinette already in it. It was already converted. Um, it was taller than what we wanted, but, uh, and the other thing, it, uh, it is an automatic, but it has three pedals, so it's a clutch to start and a clutch to stop. And that was the only two things that didn't really fit. And uh, Diane can push the clutch, but it just about takes everything she's got to do <laughs> yeah. that. And, uh, but I think in an emergency, she probably could. Uh, but uh, we just got back from a five-week vacation, 5,000 miles, and it's everything we dreamed about well, doing. And so. it's a, it is a Volvo, right? Yes, ma'am. It's a okay. Volvo, uh, and that's what we wanted in the first place with a Volvo. It's uh, very comfortable driving. Uh, we replaced the seats from the original that we got in it, and uh, Jack was able to get some 2019 uh, Volvo seats and put in for us, and they were much more comfortable. So it's been everything we wanted to do. Well, I know in some of the seminars, I've heard them say that the Volvo is is one of the trucks that's more comfortable. The steps are designed, they're easier to climb down than some of your HDT trucks are. Yeah. And that's why a lot of people go with the Volvo is for um, the comfort. Yeah, that made, that made So made your, your back axle, is it, you have two wheels on each side or yes, just one? Yes, they're dual. It's not the wide. No, no. Because some they'll do they're, that. They're duals. The wide, I don't know what they call that. Yeah, what do they call they're, that? They're dualies. Single? Yeah, yeah, it's just the dualies. Yours are dualies. Uh, basically, this truck, I guess, is about three feet long and a full-size dually. So, um, you know, I drive it if when we're traveling. If we have to go to Walmart, I, I'll park it a little farther away, but I right. take up a single parking spot. I'll, I'll stretch into a double-length one, but other than that, it takes up between the lines. That's what we wanted. We didn't uh, have any intentions of, drive, of putting anything on the back except for the drum box and and hooking the trailer up. So Right. But so it was already titled as an RV yes, when you got it. Yeah. yeah so yeah. a lot of questions that people have 
Uh, did you have any problem getting insurance? I know you didn't no. have any problem getting it registered because it was already registered as an right. RV. Yeah, we were, we were from Oklahoma and I didn't have any problem. I walked in with a title that was already titled as, an, as a motor home from Kansas and it just converted it right over. And insurance, I, we have insurance through Farm Bureau and uh, I talked to them before as we were working with it and they had already done it before and the guy said, oh, okay, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about and he had no problems with right. it at all. So, yeah, we didn't have any issues at all. Yeah. Which was quite, because I made sure we didn't and made sure he knew what I was talking about. We provided pictures for him and we had no issues whatsoever. You're happy with your big truck? And yes. Not, not pulling with a little girly truck anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and to tell you the honest truth, that is a world of difference. Uh, I went to, I made a trip in 2022 out to Arizona back pulling this same trailer with an F-250 and it's a world of difference. Uh, we both considered the fact of this trip pulling some of the hills that we pulled with. This thing here, you set to cruise at 65 and it goes uphill, it could care less that trailer's behind it or not. Yeah. But going down our truck is a, six, is a, is a gas engine. It does not have the engine brakes that a diesel does. We went down some of the switchbacks in Southern Oregon. And in your girly truck? No, and this, oh, one. this one. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, I canceled part of my trip in Arizona because I didn't have an engine brake. Uh, because it, it just wouldn't, I just don't, didn't trust it. And this thing here, we went down some of the switchbacks. I never touched the brakes. And because the engine brakes took care of all yeah. that. And uh, it was amazing. It was amazing difference. And uh, we are eminently glad that we have done this and we'll never go back to pick up a pull in the trailer like this, yeah. ever. Well, I appreciate you talking with us. And well, thank you so much. Looking at your truck. And yeah, we're pretty excited about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm always excited when somebody goes from the small truck to the big <laughs> truck. And Yeah, we've been, yeah. it took us two years past that. We picked him up June 1st. Our Canadian friends. Yeah, we're back. You're back. back. You like us. So I'm here with Steve and Trudy, and this is their first year for the rally, and they're here because they're looking. Checking it out, hoping to retire in another year or two, and uh, just checking to see what this is, if this is the route we want to go, and uh, see what information we can get this weekend. Well, there's going to be over 100 rigs here, so you can definitely walk around and look at all the yeah. truck beds, how they're rigged out, and talk to people. get lots of ideas. Yes and learn a lot at yes. seminars. Yeah. What do you think you're gonna look for? I'm leaning towards the Volvo. Volvo. Uh, and then um, I've got a couple of different campers kind of picked out that I would like to pull. Um, haven't really decided yet for sure, but I'm just looking at the safety factor of being able to be in something that right. will stop us in case of emergency. And, yeah. and uh, we already have the smart car, so it's just a matter of having a truck to put it on. Have you ever been out west? We live in Denver. Denver. Oh, so you know about the mountains. So, yes. <laughs> yes, we yes, do. Yes, yes. <laughs> Looks like we've got one coming in behind us. And a dually. So. And he's got a heavy rig there. He's pulling. And another one coming in the other, other direction. direction. Yes. 
is coming in from every direction here this morning. You'll learn a lot this week. I'm hoping to. They say it's information overload. Yes. So. And he'll drive you nuts then for the next <laughs> yeah. however long. And you know, there are there are some guys here that will take you for a ride in their truck if you ask. Well, that's what I'm hoping. I'd really like to be able to go for a ride in one. So if, if you know somebody, okay. <laughs> point them my direction. I'll do that. <laughs> go see Mark and Trudy. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, good to meet you. You too. And we'll see and you next see few you around days here. This week. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just find a place to park wherever you want to park. Oh, okay. Um, there's, I know there's several on the front over there. Okay. And then after you get all uh, hooked up, the registration's over in the brick building. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I'm here with Ray and Sue, and this is their first HDT rally. Yeah, this is our first one. So we're happy to have you, and and you said you have a truck, and it's over at Jack's. We do. We Jack's have a, a 2019 Volvo VNL 860, and um, it's over at RVH Lifestyles, 
and uh, I like to say that we're in labor. We're You're in labor. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dr. Jack is going to induce labor next uh, week. And, birth. And give birth. Give birth. We'll yes. give birth to it next week. And uh, So what color is your truck? It's a uh, sovereign blue. Sovereign blue. Yeah, so this is pretty. Yeah, hey, we like it. There's a couple here that have the same color. Very similar, yeah, mm -hmm. if they're not identical, yeah. And so the body's all built over there, and they mix the paint. And uh, Monday they're going to shoot it. So they got this week while we're here at the rally. And then we'll go back and stay there for about a week. They'll wrap everything up. And um, they got a they got a RV, site, uh, like four sites, five yeah, sites yeah. or something. So yeah, yeah, we've been out there. Have you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice guys. They yeah. took mm -hmm. care of us the other day. We broke down on the way over here. Our slide out, they said the Sioux. Don't put slide outs out unless we need them, right? You know, because yeah. they've done all this RV life. You know, they yeah. did it for years. Exactly. And so not only do they know the yours. trucks, they know how to help you out. Oh with my your God, rig. they were awesome. They were awesome. Yeah. Yep. Within an hour, maybe an hour, hour and, and a half, half tops. They, they had it done it. and put us on the road again. Yep. We had the limpet over there. We could see the, the bracket that broke was right at the end of the piston that pushes it out, and so we couldn't get it to go out anymore or to come in. And if you did get it in, you wouldn't be able to hold it in. So we had a jury rig it, get it in. We drove it over, and you know, Mark, Mark Jones was there because Jack was over at uh, New Horizons, mm -hmm. and then he was coming here. And Mark, and Mark said, "We can fix that." Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of good RV techs here, so if you have mm -hmm. any issues while you're That's here, this That's a good point. Week, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, we'd be glad to utilize them. So you're looking to learn a lot. You know, it's information overload here. You better believe it. And that's why we tape a lot of things too. So, yeah. because you're just not going to remember everything. Right. But you'll love it here. Some wonderful people. Everybody yes. we've met yeah. has been really great. And then when you come back again, it's like a family reunion oh, yes. all over. So. The only problem is I don't like to talk and everybody I meet wants to chat. <laughs> Give me I'm a kidding. break. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we've had good conversations yeah, yeah. So with everybody we and we're learning. Me. Learning. Friday afternoon. Yeah. We got here Friday, yesterday. Yeah. Today, no, Friday. Today's Sunday. So is it yeah. is it true that you lose track of time? You lose track of time oh, yes. when you retire. Every day. Every day's just another. Just day. another day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Holidays. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Just another yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. No, really, All right. Well, we really will. Great. Well, thanks. It was nice yeah, meeting you. And and congratulations on your new truck. Yeah. yeah. Next it's year, a, it's a baby boy. Next year, <laughs> we'll get to see it, or maybe we'll run into you out west somewhere. We may. Maybe. We'll, we will definitely come and say hello if we uh, know you're around. All right. Yes. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. But I had to come back and see my friends. You know, well, we great still have cranking out. We still have the M2, so. I love the UP trip that you all were on. Yeah, wasn't Those that were great good? Videos. Very well done. Very well done. We had a lot of fun up there. Oh, look like you're having a blast. <laughs> <laughs>
it's all your fault. What'd you buy? I bought Frank and this guy's truck. Did you? Yeah. Really? It's your fault from your video. Ricky, he bought Frank and Liska's truck. You bought their truck? Yeah, it's all her fault. She cost bought what? He bought Frank and Liska's truck. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. well, who actually, bought the truck? Actually, somebody bought it in between me. So they sold it to a guy by the name of Andy out on the East Coast. And then Andy decided he wanted more power. And so Andy, Andy sold it. So I bought it from him in, uh, in the end of August. What did he want for more power? He wanted a Kenworth 900L Limited. What <laughs> okay. was he pulling? He, okay. He wants like 600. He wants to be able to like burn just, out just, all just, four. Okay. All four. <laughs> Yeah. I enjoy watching your guys' videos. Thank yeah, you. Very good. Thank you. Hey. Crew member. Where is it? Crew member. Crew member. <laughs> I'm not the flunk. Busy, busy. Busy, busy. You didn't bring your receipt. How's my man? Be sure and get my good set. Yeah, well, wait, this is it. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hang on a second. Don't make your wife mad at you or this happens. Oh, you want me to take mine? So out? don't do that. <laughs> We hope you're gathering some helpful information from our rally videos. And we've been so excited to meet so many of our followers at this rally. It warms our heart to be able to put faces with our YouTube family. Once again, we thank each of you for following along on our journey as Ricky and I are soaring together and living life in different places. Thanks for watching. <laughs>